Hi everybody, David Hope here, Observability Product Specialist at Elastic, and pleased today to talk to you a little bit about instrumenting your .NET applications with OpenTelemetry. So let's have a little look at our application that we're going to instrument. We actually have uh, a number of different services. We've got a Python service here, we've got a Node service here, we've got a login service. Now the login service is the one that we're going to instrument today. It's a .NET service and at the moment as you can see it's a diamond. Uh, we only see external calls to that service at the moment from the node server. We are not seeing inside the application as you would normally expect with APM. So how do we get that sorted out? Well let's instrument it with OpenTelemetry. Now this is the application that we have here and that login service is fetching us a, a user ID in the top right here. So that's, uh, that's the, the size of the application, the Elastiflex application. And that's what we're, uh, we're looking to improve upon our visibility with today. So we want to get visibility into that login service. Now this is uh, our Elastiflex source code. And in here it's running on Docker. So we can have a little look in here and and do a docker ps we can see all the services as you would expect them to to be uh, running in docker now the one that we obviously want to instrument is this dotnet login service so let's go and have a little look over at that service uh, we actually have it over here in the hotel folder we can have a little look at the code there you can see like it's obviously a uh, a nice uh, a nice uh, .NET application. Now let's have a little look at the uh, the original Docker file, which is in our uh, our previous folder, so we can compare. Here you can see that we actually build our CS application, and there's nothing interesting here. In terms of instrumentation, it's a completely uninstrumented app. We're just running the login DLL here using the .NET runtime. Nothing interesting happening here at all, and that's why we don't get visibility into the login service. So let's have a look at the the Open Telemetry instrumented Docker file. So you can see here's a lot more going on. You can see that we're actually installing curl. We make a directory, so we've got a place to install the .NET open telemetry library in, into the agent. We then download the agent installation shell script here with curl. We then give it executable permissions. We set up a number of environment variables. Now, most of these you can get from Elastic. The first four here, one, two, three, four, are all ones that we actually need to source from Elastic. So let's go into Elastic. I'll just show you where that is. If we click on add data here, scroll down to open telemetry. You can see those environment variables here and they plug pretty much directly into here, which is what the the .NET installation needs, uh, the agent needs to operate. Once we've uh, set up those environment variables and we've, we've set up this other environment variable here which points at the home directory where the open telemetry agent is installed, we then run it. We run the installation which will install the open telemetry agent into the OTEL directory. Now, OpenTelemetry is great because it comes with all these really useful helper scripts. And it also has this instrument sh script once the agent is installed, which will set up all the .NET environment variables for you uh, automatically. And also, it will work with, uh, it'll try and figure out, you know, which runtime you're using. Are you on Mac OS or Linux? It'll figure it out automatically for you. So we source that instrument.sh file to set up the environment variables which the .NET runtime will look at to figure out whether there's a .NET agent that it needs to load ahead of the application. 
So with all of these things in place, we now have the ability to instrument our application. So in our new Docker file, we've got our new, uh, our new instrumented Docker file. We can now build, build the image and get it updated in our environment. So we could do Docker build minus T, give it a tag name and then a period and we can build that image. Now I already built an image, so I'm just gonna go and update my Docker compose file with that new image over here. We can essentially comment out this one, which is not instrumented. Okay. And we can add in an image that I built earlier with that additional change in to add to the .NET agent, which is in here, DJ Hope 99 slash login, colon one, and we'll save the Docker compose file, and then we will rerun it. And hopefully it will just update that login service as you can see there. And we'll go back into Elastic, we'll go to our overview page here and look at our services and we should start to see that .NET service is now instrumented. So there we go, it's very simple, very easy to get up and running with OpenTelemetry and uh, instrument your .NET applications. Very quick, very easy. So if you want to know anything else about Elastic APM and OpenTelemetry, please uh, scan one of the QR codes you see on the screen and it should take you to the APM Quick Start, the Open Telemetry Instrument Integration Guide, sorry, and the Elastic Observability Guide, all laid out for you there. Thank you very much.